<laughs> so yeah, mm. my mm. butt hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, your your ass hurts favorite. from sitting down for too long. Oh hi, yeah. Alex. Okay, so since we're in post show, I'm coming back in to fuck with the people. Oh, Yay! Yay! <laughs> Brett, play Code Vein. What I think is he code needs a vein? console for that. It's it's good. It's so good. <laughs> you sound like a drug addict. Like try this drug. It's a it's, good game. It's a good drug, man. You gotta try this shit, man. <laughs> Yo, do I, I got a good. Do shit. I look like Percy? Yeah. Oh my oh, god. That? Oh. <laughs> oof. It took y'all a minute to process that. Oof, 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 oof. Oh. Okay, oh, yeah. Ellie. I can't play Code Vein. I don't have the PS4 or Xbox One. Yeah. Uh, well, isn't it also on... on? Oh, no, your computer it's, can't handle yeah. Steam. Can it? <laughs> well, okay, I'll tell you this much. Whoa, 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 hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I can play 3D games. I just can't stream them. Well, I didn't say stream it. I said play it. I think you it's a game you'd like. Okay. I just wanted to clear that up because some people make the assumption that because my computer's weak, it can't handle that. My computer can handle playing golf with your friends. Yeah. I mean, that's an excellent argument. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. So, yeah, you just wanted to come in and say play Code Vein. All right? No, I, I, I want to hang out because I'm bored and you guys are fun. All right. Yay, so, yeah, let's let's goof around for the next, like, 10 to 20 minutes and then call it a night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to be to work in, like, six hours, apparently. Oh. Yeah, six hours. Uh, okay. Maybe you should get your butt to bed. Yeah, Wolfhead, you, no. should, you should go get some rest. You, you need it. I refuse. It's hey, what do you mean I need it? Do I sound sleepy to you? I mean, you're hanging out here, so you're probably sleep drunk. Not well. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I could, yeah. I could hang yeah. out for a little while. I could hang out for a little while. Okay. Yeah. Go for the friends funeral, takes so I mean, much to <laughs> run. It's ridiculous for what the game is. Oh, yeah. But it's worth playing because Go for the friends is just stupid fun. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I love it so much. I will say Especially this. when you turn on the collision and bump people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're able to jump. Um, I did oh, try yeah. that. There was that recent space ga uh, stage, and oh, I hate that stage so much. <laughs> oh, you should. Oh, the space. Oh, the space one. That oh, stage is nothing one. but ass. They constantly get caught in these traps. It expects you to go through these bizarre loops, and you, you screw up. You're sent back. <laughs> There's also this weird mechanic that if you're on one of the edges of the course when you're off course, you're actually stuck there. You actually have to use up all of your turns to go to the next part. That's a course oh, that needs to yeah. be fixed. That's, yeah, it's been a problem with the space one, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> the one level in the space one I hate is the leaf level because the bumps in the leaf always mess up your shots, and I fucking <laughs> hate that level. For a second, you sounded like Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> no respect. I mean, I hope you don't expect respect from me. I mean, hey, well. wow. Ask Blissey, what's your favorite song? That's like asking me to choose my favorite cookie or favorite dessert or or like. You yeah, mean because not my snickerdoodles. I mean, when it comes <laughs> to when it comes to songs, there's always going to be something you're going to love listening to until you get tired of it, and then you move on to the next. It depends on my mood. It, it really, yeah. really does. Like, yeah. sometimes I'll get nostalgic and want to actually go to my southern roots and listen to country. Then there'll be times where I've been sad, like I have been for the past few days, where I'll just listen to really sad music. And then there'll be days <laughs> where I listen to uh, Midnight, the Midnight. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, they're, they're a retro band. Uh, they're, they're a current band, but they play music that sounds like a fusion mix from the nineties and eighties. I love them. Get them oh yeah. No, that like sounds, that sounds cool. It does. Yeah. Like I was at, like, there was that, like Peter introduced me to that. And years ago he introduced me to, um, what's it called? Walk the moon. And they had that song called shut up and dance. Like oh, that was as yeah. close to the eighties as you can get, especially the snare. The snare was always loud. Like, psh, psh. Um, I should point out, though, before it go goes on, 
that a lot of the music I hear or listen to today, uh, it's because of Aeon. Aeon's my music yeah. dealer. He, yeah, he no, pretty he, much is. He could find <laughs> a lot of like obs- like music that not many people know about, but it's so rewarding and beneficial to hear. Yeah, like it was a thanks to him that I was introduced to. Uh, it was a thanks to him that I was introduced to the band called. Ch- no, not well. Yeah, it is. It's a pop band called Churches. And oh yeah, Church is pretty good. There was yeah, a song a they had called um, "Bow Down." It is as every bit as '80s as you can imagine with a modern voice. It's weird, yes. but it's so like it's fun to listen to. Hey Bliss, hey, you right. got you got asked if if Fox has ever jump scared you. No, I haven't. I don't think so, but Josh Scorcher has, and I want to get him back. <laughs> <laughs> Also, E.G., I know who Ghost is. I first discovered them when I heard that song, Rats. I'm like, is this song made in the 70s or something? And I found out, oh, wow, this is a modern band. And there was also the last riff at the end where all the ballet dancers were forming together. And I'm like, oh, wow, damn, they went all out on that. And I heard a couple of other songs that were like, wow, like they, they know how to make something very retro. Like, it's it's very rare these days that you have bands that can sound very retro with what they're aiming for. Like you have the White Stripes, which sound go for the uh, '60s sound, and you have Wolf Mother that goes for the psychedelic rock sound. Like literally, the lead vocalist sounds like Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. Mm-hmm. I just hope they slow they start to get like more well known because I heard the Midnight the Midnight is known. They're doing tours, but they're not as big as I thought they were, and I really hope that changes. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, that do- can't change it because change at all because it's not corporate approved prepackaged bubble gum for people to chew over and over again. Oof! It's not pop. <laughs> it's not hip hop. Well, no, hip hop's actually not as big as it used to be. It's not pop these days. Mm-hmm. I could go on Apparently a tirade on. What's big. I could go on a tirade on how frustrating it is to like enjoy listening to certain bands without people saying it's a bad band, like. I'm probably going to make some of you cringe. Despite, you know, all the shit that Photograph has, like all the jokes that we made off of it, I do enjoy <laughs> listening to Nickelback. Look at this I like Photograph. I do. Like, okay, Photograph is an overplayed song, and it's a song it that is. a lot of people get irritated about. But I also like the song Animals. It's a funny song about two couple, like about a couple who gets busted by their own dad in rebellious behavior. It's a funny song to listen to. Um, I also like the song Rockstar, because that can relate to a lot of people. Rockstar's fun! Yeah, because we all just don't want to be big rock stars. Um. I like Ninja (laughs) Sex Party. Oh, I love Ninja Sex Party. (laughs) But also, like, aside from Nickelback, other bands, like, also get, like, they call it butt rock. Um, other bands include Five Finger... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, that's a name, butt rock, because it's supposed oh. to be a joke at them. Like Nickelback is called that. Five Finger Death Punch gets called butt rock these days. And um, another band that I actually have a big guilty pleasure listening to, the band is called Hinder. Ooh, yeah, I, I've heard I, of I know them. a song that I it's like. It's by far my favorite of Nickelback. It's an older one of their songs. Mm-hmm. Everyone cared. If everyone cared was okay, like I liked it at first, but over time it sounded a little too <coughs> preachy for me. Like, I, I, but I liked it because it, it it was subtle enough yeah. for me. Oh, and it's I need I, I need to hear that positivity. You know? Okay, so okay, EJ yeah. says butt rock is basically rock bands selling out. Oh, you mean like the hair metal bands in the eighties? Oof. I Oof. like hair metal music. I don't care if people have issue with Cherry Pie from Warrant. I like that song. People have a problem with cherry pie? Yeah. She's my cherry pie. Well, yeah, no. I'll, I'll just put it, I'll just flatly put it to everybody, like, who are dissing on people who like Nickelback or like Daltrey or well, Daughter or whatever. Go ahead. My, here, um, music is subjective. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like comedy. Everybody has their own interests and tastes. Please don't smack people for liking something you don't like. Okay, like, I will... Well, I prefer Backstreet Boys to NSYNC. I like NSYNC, but I like Backstreet more. Harris, I like them both. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I have to say? Bye, 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 bye. 
I just want to okay, I just want to clarify something. When I was talking about butt rock, I'm not talking about like when people are making fun of others who dare to like Nickelback or Hinder or what have you. I'm talking about mm-hmm. the bands themselves that get a bad reputation for selling out. Like I don't have that big of an issue if a band has to sell out. If you have to do that to make money and continue your, you know, your career in making music, so be it. Uh, Metallica had to sell out after the Black Album. Um, yeah. A couple of other musicians had to sell out. Uh, let's see, Nickelback, Daughtry, and Theory of a Dead Man. Um, Theory of a Dead Man. Is that not the group who also made the villain song? Uh, the one that goes like, dee 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 da 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 da. It was in uh, your uh, Thunderflight project. Oh, I know that song. Yeah, I know what you're talking. Yeah, it was the song I had you remake for me for my Thunderblade special. Hang on. Yeah, and it was the worst cover I've ever made. Hey, I loved it. Yeah, I thought you did a great job. Okay, so um. Let's see, let's see, I'll rephrase. Brought Rock isn't much on selling, but it's the genre more about formulating music that's already existed. Uh, okay, I will say this much. Part of the reason why I actually like to hinder, because I like that they were digging back to the older generations and trying to bring back some of the hair metal music and such to a modern time. It has something that's, you know, just plain fun to listen to. And that's what I found about uh, Hinder's music. But they get criticized because they're trying to be a hair metal band or they're trying to be Aerosmith. I even like their cover song of Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild. The only thing that irritated me with that cover song is that Austin Winkler was constantly hissing on the microphone for every line. What? Uh, so who Why? did you say villain was? By? Villains. Villain. But who was it by, she was asking. Oh, A Theory of a Dead Man. Yep, you're right. Okay. Why does Selling Out get a bad reputation period? Okay, the other thing I uh, kept hearing is that Communities who like rock music have an issue or are against the mainstream, which I didn't like it at first because I thought mainstream just seemed either too corny, too cheesy, or too stereotypical and just wanted to go for fame and attention. Not all mainstream music is bad. Um, There was also a bit of like a weird chain reaction when it came to, you know, different music uh, time periods of music. Like, for instance, with hair metal... Prior to that, a lot of musicians from the 70s and early 80s, they hated the hair metal bands. But the hair metal bands hated the grunge bands like Soundgarden and Nirvana. And they hated post-grunge. And it's just a constant ongoing chain of just hating yeah. you know, different generations. But a most, most of which is due to the fact that after the success they have, they start selling out. And I'm just going to be a front here. If you have to sell out, you have to sell out. You know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, I I didn't hear the later music of Metallica, but I know that there's an audience who likes the later music of Metallica. I'll still enjoy listening to freaking Master of Puppets and Kill Em All album. You know, The Four Horsemen. Freaking love that song. I um, mean, I was sad when I found out that Akon is no longer singing or doing music. He's a producer now. Why? Because uh, producers make more money than musicians and singers. Yeah. Yeah. So... It's just a matter of fact, people move on, they want to do other things, or they know that their their success is going to be short-lived, and they have to sell. Yeah. I'm not going to hate on him for it. Yeah, no, like, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take back what I said. I like Nickelback's music. I like Five Finger Death Punch. I like uh, Hinder. I especially like the later albums, like All American Nightmare. Like, yeah, it's, the music sounds like you would typically hear from an opening of an NFL game, but putting that aside, they also have a song that talks about how much uh, one dude is, you know, ending a relationship because he loves listening to Jimi Hendrix and, like, classic rock. Meanwhile, saying, take the Kanye West out of my player, please. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it, it's a fun song, and it has a very, very strong reminiscence of, um, what's it called? I Love Rock and Roll by Joan Jett. Yeah. Well, oh, I like that I song. Play, if I could play devil's advocate for a second, it also depends on the type of selling out, because if you're going to do something like what Madonna does then that's gonna be a no-go for me yeah like how she's never how she's fucking drunk and high off the um off the hyper feminist kool-aid you know oh god like Mm. that sort of thing that sort of selling out just to stay popular is not okay yeah Yeah, no if you're doing it to be successful and you know producing whatever music you can produce even if it's personal that's different Yeah. yeah um let's see Linkin Park, I love Linkin Park. I still, like, even their later albums I enjoyed listening to. Um, Same thing with Tool. I have a huge, 
huge amount of respect for Tool. I still have yet to listen to Fear Inoculum, their latest album, and I haven't listened to it yet because I want to buy the physical copy to support the band. Um, I know that Slipknot made a recent album. Hello? Here's, yeah, here's one that people kind of smacked me for, but I don't care. I still like her. I like Celine Dion. Celine there you Dion go. is great. I like that Celine yeah. Dion did music for Deadpool 2. What the fuck yeah, are you talking that was, about? That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, people used to, no, I had people who would smack me for it because, oh my god, you like Celine Dion. That is so cheesy. You like the cheesy crap, don't you? She has a good voice, and it's soothing. I liked her version of Beauty and the Beast. F you! <laughs> <laughs> um, who died? Yeah, oh. no, because, oh. Oh, I think Wolfhead had to go somewhere. But no, um, uh -huh. a similar thing happened when, like, I was talking with a couple of other people about metal music, and I brought up Avenged Sevenfold, and I said I love their music. I'm like, wow, I'm sorry. I didn't know we were talking about pop. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Oh, it's because they sold out and got to the mainstream. Dude, shut the fuck up. There's still metal regardless. Yeah. A genre is not defined by ho by popularity. Exactly. If it, was, Evanes if it was, Evanescence was the biggest pop band of the 90s. Yeah, and then I saw that Oof. Amy Lee went solo and actually, like, trying to, like, redo reinvent her image and go for a much grittier one. Good for her! You know, she wanted to do her own thing instead of having to, you know, sell out in the earlier years. And I'm not going to hate her for that. I'm not going to blame her for any actually, of that stuff. Actually, that's, that's something respect-worthy because that's a lot of, like, exactly of integrity yeah like evanescence from the 2000s yeah she had to sell out but afterwards she had like a self-titled album and that music the music that she produced there it feels different compared to the earlier works and you know what that's a thing she wanted to do on her own Ooh, magical star flash brought up my brought up my band the spice girls Th that them's my girls from when i was yeah. in high school definitely I nostalgic I like them too, but I only liked two of their songs, sadly. Yeah, from same. The first album. I don't know. All my friends were crazy for them, and I respect that. I just, it I liked the other cool. songs. I would also like and to point. It wasn't your thing. That's cool. Yeah, no, I also. I only like two of them. I also want to point out that yes, I can be a bit of a sucker listening to some boy bands. Like I've enjoyed listening to Backstreet Boys and that song. Uh, Hi. As um, long as you hello. love me. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi, have we met, <laughs> Mrs. I want you to be my Brody Street Boys? <laughs> <laughs> my Backstreet Brodies over here. Oh, my also fantasy, don't forget. My fantasy Brody band. <laughs> Go ahead, Riley. Don't forget TLC. TLC? Oh, Hell yeah! Holy crap, <laughs> that's nostalgia. I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't keep Okay, child, you is not trying to do that rap like that in front of my ass, are you? <laughs> I know, I suck. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very bad at it. I'm going to make a very racist joke. You're too white for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still love it. Don't hate me for trying. Don't hate me for trying, man. It's still probably better than my normal rap. It took me like three years of practicing to get that part for the, to get that part down. <laughs> I I ain't no rapper. I ain't gonna pretend. I don't know what TLC is. Back That's back what back Ad, back he's back asking. Back what TLC back. means? T Boss Left Eye and Chili. It was the it was the amalgamation of their names. Okay. Yeah. Um, Didn't one of them die? Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, she. Yeah. I, if I recall correctly, she passed due to cancer. Oh, yeah, god damn you, cancer! Yeah. What was that, like 2011, 2012? I can't remember. It was... I was still in school, I think, when it happened, or I had just gotten out, so it's somewhere around 2003 or something. That's oh, accurate. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But yeah, it sucks. Um, I'm, but getting back to music, like, I... When it, what, what my taste is, I'm pretty much open to as much music as possible. Like, I know the All-American Rejects. I like that song, Move Along. Um, if there's any music I don't like, it's when something gets really, really obnoxious. And that can vary in so many degrees. I would get yes, shit for saying it. this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't like, I didn't like listening to Slipknot or System of a Down. But there's a lot of people who like mm -hmm. them and they got extremely popular. They just don't really do anything for me, honestly. It, it, mm. it, it didn't really do anything for me, but there's an appeal behind it. Um, I heard that Slipknot concerts are fun to go to, but when it comes to their music, or at least their earlier music, as they said, they changed their sound over time. They're, let's just say they're one of those typical bands that you would just hear constantly banging on the drum and blurting out curse words. 
Uh, it, it's just, I've only liked maybe one or two of their songs, and then I kind of just grew out of it. I only listen to it when I'm angry now. <laughs> wasn't so, like, the, that says a lot, don't it? Wasn't like yep. the, the lead guitarist on like that nostalgia critic, The Wall Review or something? Oh, yeah, no, Corey Taylor. I have respect yeah. for Corey Taylor because he also has the other band called Stone Sour. Stone Sour has that sound that you would hear from a lot of, you know, alternative rock bands. But they have Stone one- Sour sounds like a type of candy. Well, um, there's their music that I would do recommend, or is in particular this one song called "Through Glass." It's actually a song that is very depressing, but it's satisfying to listen to. Um, but no, uh, but yeah, no Slipknot. Let's just say, okay, how many of you seen Ace Ventura? Yes. Oh yes. Okay. So oh, I want to say the well, only thing I remember about Ace Ventura at all, any of them, is when Jim Carrey, like Tarzan, called out of his ass. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> anyways, anyways, the point is, there's a scene where he walks into a metal concert, and they have the band that goes like, "That's something I can't stand. That's not music. Yeah. That's just irritation." Like, there's people. That's pe- death metal. Yeah, no, there's there's people who enjoy listening to that, and I found out that was a legit band that Jim Carrey actually liked and wanted to bring forth in the film. Kudos to him. I respect his decision. I can't stand that. That's what I. That's basically what Slipknot is. You know, if there's any song I remember from them, it's that if you're fa fa fa, but I'm six six six. The first time I heard that, I was like, <laughs> no, I was like, my brother was listening to the CD in the car that he got from a friend. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's this annoying. Oh, what do you think of Andrew WK? <laughs> Andrew WK. I actually love Andrew WK's music. Oh, you better I love get him. ready to die. Get die. ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, w- I want to take a moment for us to appreciate how this whole live stream has transitioned because y'all spent the whole time like p- talking about horror stuff and now we're talking about all the music in the world. Well, that's the cool <laughs> thing about this post show is that we could just say whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not disparaging. I'm saying let's take a moment to appreciate this. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, this sec- this probably may be the best podcast so far. I hope that it, you know, you know, this kind of quality keeps up. Oh, I I just remembered a band from my middle and high school years. Mi- definitely middle school. Was it Ever Essence? Secret Garden? Se- um, Savage Garden? Savage Garden, that's it! Oh, okay. Savage Garden. Oh, that is old school for me. Wow. I that love that music. Like- Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Are they the ones who did um tr- Madly Truly Deeply? Yes. Okay, I remember that. I used to listen to that a lot. Like, it was played on the radio a lot. I still listen to that. That's that's one of my songs. I want to stand with you on a mountain. Yeah, it's like... (laughs) I love it because they're... They have Savage in the name, but their music is so not. It is just... (laughs) (laughs) It's hilarious. It is just, like, so relaxing, so... So heartwarming, and I'm just like, what's savage? Do you, like, have thorns on your rose bushes? What's going on? <laughs> oh, here's oh, an interesting we question. What are your... What is, oh, what is your opinion on Owl City? Oh, yeah. I, 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 oh, Fireflies. Oh, I love Owl City! <laughs> I like to when make can I see you again? believe that planet Earth turns... Slowly. Slowly, it's hard to say. I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Um, this I, is where I feel like I'm outside because I like I'm an outsider because I really don't listen to the radio anymore. I listen, I just listen to stuff online. Okay, I mean, I mean, I, and my old libraries. Okay, huh? no, that's fireflies by Owl City. I also I also want to mention that um, I've heard a recent cover of the song, and it's from a metal group called uh, Make Way for Men. It's it's more metalcore. Make way- Make way for for men, because hmm. it, it, you cut you it cut you out for me. Discord, yeah. motherfucker, you better stop doing that. No, take a <laughs> guess what my favorite song from Owl City is. It's sad, but it's it kind of fits me. A little oh, bit too. um, is that the one that Vivzy popped in animated video? Yes. Of? Yeah. I'm a silhouette. Silhouette. Yeah. Chasing all right, and Cougar, I ain't that outside of the realm of reality. I know who Britney Spears Everybody is. Everybody knows who Britney who Spears is. Who doesn't know Britney Spears? Everyone knows who she is. Why? Uh, Why is... On? 
Yeah. Moving on. Uh, I'm a silhouette. But no, um, there was a metal cover of the song, and the band actually did, like, I will say this much. As much as I don't like it when bands just go, just make a bunch of obnoxious noise, I do... (laughs) I do open myself up to hearing screams. Otherwise, I wouldn't have enjoyed listening to Linkin Park. So I guess you don't like uh, White Zombie. I don't know who White Zombie is. Yeah, I've never heard of him Hard metal. Again, it's in my angry list. (laughs) (laughs) I might have to look into that. It's hard Um, rock and metal in my angry list. But yeah, no, like I I enjoy listening to what people call metalcore. Did I just cut out again? Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, Discord. (laughs) I swear, if you were a physical thing, I'd smack you right about now. Anyways, metalcore. Metalcore is a mix between thrash and uh, uh, some form of punk music. And it has a nice combination. There's a nice balance between some screaming vocals and some aggressive singing. And regarding a lot of various, like degrees of um you know dark themes that can be personal like there's bless the fall there's uh bullet from my valentine that's still one of my favorite bands to listen to these days i even like their six album uh gravity uh who else is i had a bunch of other names with me but basically it has that sort of sound when it comes to the firefly um cover song from uh make way for men so it's something that i do want to recommend i'll probably put in the link in the description of this post show yeah yeah. Oh, Atreyu. There we go. Atreyu is another metalcore band. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to do that. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, obviously, I won't play stuff for too long due to copyright. Hey, phone, cooperate. Thank you. <laughs> ashes remain wait is that the group that actually we did the uh the the thunder roll song from garth brooks um mm. i'm asking in the chat Can we just talk? Can we just talk? ellie we're gonna get copyright struck yeah that that's, wasn't li- me. that's lissy Blue that's Blue lissy Blue. Blue. Whoa, 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 let me rephrase that. I'm going to get copyright struck. Blissy. That's why I only played a few seconds. Jeez. Yeah. As soon as I mistaken one person. five seconds. As, like, I, like, I go to miscall a name and I get fucking, like, burned to the stake. Jesus. Uh, okay, first off, was that burning to you st- to the stake, you drama queen? Second, I was laughing my ass off because you assumed it to be Ellie. You yeah. think Ellie's the only one in here that listens to R and B? No. I'm not gonna make that assumption. <laughs> Thanks, because I was on the verge of hanging myself. Oh my gosh. Ah. We're just <laughs> messing with you, you silly, silly. I know you were messing with me. I was just playing along with. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, you got me then. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesse's going to get the biggest kick out of you mistaking me for Bliss. I know, <laughs> okay. I know one. This one won't get you copyright, but obviously I'm not going to play it for too long. And, uh... Okay, here we go. Hold on. That's a commercial. (laughs) 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 Oh my god, don't die, please. No dying. Okay, hold on. Oh my god. Huh. Who does the song? Yeah, the Midnight. I like it. Oh, oh, that's right. It, it sounds like those like ballad songs you'd hear in the late '80s, like freaking Mitch- like Richard Marx or something. She's full of moving parts. 
All right. Hey, Bliss. <laughs> yes. Yes. Bliss that's stopped. Okay, it stopped. There. <laughs> At least we're commentating. Oh, so hey, hey, well, okay. hold up, everyone, yeah. everyone. Hold up, hold up. At least we're commentating on it. Fair use. Hey, all. Ah. <laughs> So yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. So War Hero has decided that you, me, and Jesse are triplets now. Bliss. I'm gonna step away from this one. Because <laughs> constantly, to... constantly, poor Jesse keeps getting her voice mixed up with Bliss's voice because they're both high pitched. How do you think I feel? And I am not high pitched. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I am. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I am a tenor. I am not high. I am not a. I am not a soprano. So tell me, Amber, how many squeeze have you gone through today with Ivan? First off, you son of a gun. You know very well we have not played two <laughs> games today. And apparently, whoops! <laughs> whoops! <laughs> apparently, you really ran for a second there. Poor Jesse getting confused for me. How the hell do you think I feel? Yeah, people keep calling her Lightning Jess. I'm just like, guys, come on. The joke's already no. done and over with. Stop. Don't yeah. do that. that may okay, first off, I'm sure that makes her feel bad. Ever consider that makes me feel bad, too? It just it irritates both of you, and I can see why it would irritate both of you. Yeah. I mean, no, like, getting I confused with someone else is not fun. No, I, I, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here. It says gold and solar set for the same fate. We do point. not sound I, the same. You two don't <laughs> sound the same. The I still else. don't get that. I don't get it either. I think it only tends to happen when they laugh and there's a moment where they actually do sound the same at one point, but then I can still... I've known you so know long enough to figure it out. Sound the same? You want to know when they sound the same? When they're the Belch Bros. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yep. Can agree with that. <laughs> Any of you going to Cider Fest next weekend? That's a negative cap. No. We, got a wedding. we nope. have something more important to do. Yeah. And wheels, I'm ignoring you. The wheels on the bus get killed by Ellie. Killed by <laughs> that doesn't even work. Ellie, the no, 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 no. Killed by Ellie. No, not killed by Ellie. Burned by Ellie. Not I'm not starting a tire fire. <laughs> <laughs> Great wheels of fire. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Egu, you should no. feel bad for that. Yeah, I feel bad. No, not you, Egu. E G. Oh. oh yeah, Egu. Chad Croker. Because well, like, because of the lead singer, Chad his Croker. name is Chad Krager. Um, is it Croker? It, it, his his last name is weird to pronounce. I will say this much about the band: Chad Krager is he he's he's either an idiot or he's just fucked up in the head. There's there's idiot stuff where he was being interviewed on a radio and he started saying stupid shit about Corey Taylor, who was the frontman of Slipknot, because apparently he has Stone Sour that supposedly sounds similar. And I'm sitting there Fucking... thinking, like, mm, sorry, I just saw what Wheels just said. What? Wasn't your burp confused for so? Wow, so Wheel, oh. are you? Walk away. Wheel, you better walk yeah, away yeah, when you, you have the chance. You want to walk away, man. <laughs> I'm gonna quote. Yeah, I ain't protecting you. No, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going to butt. quote the song um, from uh, what's it called? Pantera. Ray, Spec, walk. Are you talking to me? Walk out on, boy. Oh, you know, I got a better idea. Ellie, you want to grab away. your flamethrower? I'll grab Starlight. Walk away. Mm, the the flamethrower is getting kind of tired. Yeah. Let's live. Oh, you want you want the shotgun? <laughs> How about what the kind of weapon do you have in Code Vein? Claymores are fun. I want I want the rapier I have in Code Vein. Mm. <laughs> it's an ice blade. I'm go I'm flipping the switch, motherfucker. Nice. <laughs> I sh I really need to make my own keyblade. I can whack people oh. with it. I could, I still, I could, didn't you, like, design a base for one? I did one design point? a base for it. I want to make it myself. I, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. hold on, I'll PM you. English. I, I will PM you because I remember why, uh, yeah, hold on. I... Yeah, I tried to do, like, Keyblade commissions at one point, but I got overwhelmed real fast. Did I just hear an evil laugh in someone's background? Not that I know of. 
Am I hallucinating? Uh, no. Mm, I think you heard so I don't know. I didn't hear anything. <clears throat> I mean, I'm playing something on my phone. Somebody linked me some stupid video on DeviantArt, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Mm. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, by this point... <laughs> there we go. Alright, so what yeah. are you going to play afterwards? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? It was too quiet. <sighs> in any case, I, I think it's time we end this uh, end this yeah, podcast. Yeah, Colin and I, we've, this was the <laughs> longest <laughs> podcast we've had. So anybody who stuck around, thank you for sticking around. Uh, hopefully, um, we'll do another podcast, something this fun uh, later in the future. But for now, take care. I need to get some water. Get water. Ah!